Hi, this is Yamini Naidu from 1001. Have you often wondered how do you launch into a story in the middle of a presentation or in a meeting? A lot of our customers grapple with finding the right segues for their stories. So in this video, we're going to look at some story segues that will help you smoothly transition into a story. We're going to look at some do's and some don'ts, and I'm actually going to look at the don'ts first. Never start your story by saying, I'm going to tell you a story, because that can sound patronizing, and it's quite unnecessary to announce the piece of communication that follows. Our other don't comes from Stephen Denning. Denning recommends that you never say, I'm going to tell you a true story, because what have you been doing all this time? And as we've discussed before, in storytelling, authenticity is very important, so all the stories you are narrating should be true. So if I've taken away both your life rafts, if I've said, don't say I'm going to tell you a story and never say I'm going to tell you a true story, don't worry, help is on its way in the form of some do's. One of these do's, and this again comes to us from Denning, is the simple use of time and place. You could segue into your story by saying, yesterday when I was in the gym, or last week when I was talking to Tom in IT. Time and place do a lot of things for you in storytelling. Denning says they signal to your listeners that this is a true story without you having to say those words. There are innumerable variations of time and place, so it never gets boring. Using time and place also keeps your stories conversational. And by having a conversational segue, you will find that it is really smooth and easy to transition into your story. But sometimes it's not always possible to use time and place. What do we then recommend in those situations? Christine Nixon, who is the ex-commissioner of police in Victoria, she would, every time she's making a presentation, she would make a few points and then she would say, for example, and share a story. So her segue were the words, for example. Similar segues could be to illustrate the point, or that reminds me of or I'd like to share with you. These are just some suggestions. I want you to have a play with them, practice, see what feels right for you. And even better, come up with some segues that fit in with your style. And finally, the last thing we're going to recommend is to actually have no segue. This often works at the start of a presentation when you've been introduced and you stand up to present. We recommend you launch straight into your story. I know it sounds really scary to go without a segue, but it's very effective in grabbing and holding your audience's attention. So just to recap, some story segue don'ts are never start by saying I'm going to tell you a story and even worse, I'm going to tell you a true story. If you're looking for some story segues, some options for you are to use time and place, to use words like, for example, and finally, to sometimes try going without a segue at all. Many thanks for your time and attention. If you found this video useful, we invite you to subscribe to our posts. Thank you.